G'day viewers, we're out for another hunt today, me and Troy, and um, we've come to an old part of the Australia. We're not going to tell you where it is. Um, that'll be a bit funky. Anyway, um, oh that's... <laughs> sorry. Oh that's the new word of the month, funky. I got that from Dalton, I can't get it out of my head, thanks Dalton. And waffle waffle, that's another good one I like, but anyhow, um, I'll just show you what Troy's found, an old English penny. Yeah, I can't get a date off him. Uh, 1880. I reckon that's 1880, Troy. 1880? Yep. And um, we'll show you all this at the roundup anyway, but it's not a bad start. Troy, right near this fence too, so yeah, good one. Back here again, guys. I just dug a nice little silver. I think it's an old one to get Troy to do the water trick, if you don't mind, Troy. And we'll do all these. Oh, that's going to come up all right, though. Look at that. You're kidding me. 19... 1919? Troy, I don't reckon I've got a 1919 before. There you go, viewers. Now, we do all these at the end anyway. We'll take photos and do the roundup there. But that was um, at a new spot that we're at. That was only about an inch down that coin. Not a bad looking coin. We're going all right. Man, Troy, he's got a penny and a. Sixpence as well, haven't you, yep. Troy? There you go. So we'll do the roundup at the end anyway. So get on, mate. Back here, viewers. Got a bit of a scrappy one here, a bit of a jumpy one, but oh, maybe not. Uh, Eleven forty. Funky, funky, little thrippy. <laughs> <laughs> an old English one. Oh, it's an old English one. Get off it. Get the sun in the right way and everything like that. Uh, just found a little old English trippence, Troy, is that right? Yeah. Trippence, yeah. Little English one, look at that. 1898. You're not going to be able to see it all that well, but we'll show you later. So that's cool. Right. Back here, a viewers, we just come on the outside. I've got something here. Sounds alright. 146. Medallion. And I've gouged it. Oh, she is not bad, Nick, though. Oh, spewing. I should have just tucked it easy a bit, mate. Now, what is it, Troy? Can you. I seen one of these at the museum yesterday, viewers. Where we are. Where we're not telling you where we are, but where we are. Yeah, I've got one of them at home. I think that one is the. the commemorate the first. Yeah, a fed, federal parliament. First sitting of federal parliament. And look. Australia. I've just nicked it. I should have just taken another bite back a bit further with me shovel. Oh, you idiot. But anyway. Not a, not a great nick, though. No, it's a good nick. <laughs> Get it? But the rest of it is in good nick, though. It is. In good condition. Yeah, the back of it and quite, everything quite like that. Readable and readable. Yeah, so anyway, we'll, we'll clean that up a bit later on, viewers. I think I've found one of these already, Troy, so that might be the second one I've got now, but yeah. um, we were just about to leave, and I said to Troy, I wouldn't mind going up and down this medium strip out the front here of where we are, where we're not telling you where we are, and bingo. 92, 93. Can I give him a quick listen with the E-Track? Hey. Can I give him a listen with this thing? Yeah. This will be a silver coin. Listen to this. Uh, 1044. Surely that's silver coin, Troy. From about there. That'll have him. There it is. is. Oh, it's not what I was expecting, but it's only a little sixpence. It sounded much better than I thought for a sixpence. It would be an early one though, Troy, will it? Uh, it's an Australian one. An Australia, mate. Oh, what a coin. 42, sorry, Troy. 42, oh that's why it can't, it's before 45 then, yep. And I'll just let, give the viewers a look at this little coin. Um, we were going to go, me and Troy, and I said, Troy, I like the look of the nature strip out here where we were, and Troy informed me that the uh, block next to the tennis courts and everything here used to be an old bakery, and pubs and all sorts of stuff, so we're just doing the nature strip and get on, brother. Rightio, nice coin, Troy. Uh, viewers, I found this little button thing, and Troy might be able to explain, Troy, because Troy's actually found one of these before. It's and for, from the Young Workers Guild. It was given to kids during the World War I effort, I think, that raised more than a pound or two pound for the war effort. 
and that was their reward for raising money and they raised the money by doing odd jobs for different people and doing different things. Yeah, well that's bloody really good Troy and the one Troy found was in heaps better condition than this but I'm happy about that and, and the back of them Troy, I think yours has got a pin on it has it? Oh the pin broke when I found it but it was a, like a long straight pin. Oh yep, yeah. oh I got you so it would have just yeah, stuck in like so that. Like you could stick it into something and it would stand up sort of thing almost. What about the badge? The badge, yeah. Get it? Oh. Stick it into something and it stands up. Um, sorry. <laughs> anyway, we'll give you a roundup later, but I'm pretty happy with that. Found two little sort of relics out the front here now, so we were going to go, and I'm bloody happy as picking shit we didn't. Right up. Back here, viewers, Troy's picked up a nice target here, Troy. What do you got? Six, I reckon that could be a penny. Yeah. I thought it sounded a little bit higher than that myself, but you're probably right. I'm glad we didn't bloody go anywhere, Troy, I tell you. Yeah. Come on, Troy. There it is. What you got? The penny. Yes. Jeez, that's old. green. That's an old English one, is it? There you go, viewers. And we were going to move. Why the hell would you want to do that? This, this block here, right here, um, used to be an old bakery. Well, that mound of dirt is there. So I bet you a little kid, oh, pick up a loaf of bread. Oh, yeah. Oh, mum, I lost my penny. And Troy found it 130 years later. <laughs> a view was we changed spots, and Troy's just dug himself a barrel tap. Now they are as cool as. So, what they used to do is they used to belt the end of it there belt it into the barrel like that and then they'd have a um a, a, a key i think it was so they could uh, operate the tap on and off there so they'd belt it in this barrel with that bit there and that'd seat into the barrel and off you go mate beer on well done troy Whew. oh shit I sh <laughs> nearly knocked me in, man. <laughs> well done troy that's a cool relic i'm happy with that one good stuff mate back here again viewers we moved again me and troy and I just want to show you this, you could just about make out the imprint on that. Actually, if you look carefully, you probably can see that. Um, and I'll show you the coin in a minute, Troy's just got it. The colour of that is unreal. It's an old English half penny. I mean, it's an old English penny. Have a look at it. Look at the patina on that. That's where it's came from. Look at that. 1907. And it rang up, I'll give you a listen to it. I thought it was almost going to be silver, that coin. That's in beautiful, Nick. Have a listen. Oh, no, it's a little bit lower tone now that it's out of the ground, but look at that. That's bizarre. Right up. Uh, nice, this little creek. Have a look at this little funky little creek. Dalton would say that. Little creek down here not flowing that fast. Um, oh now, <laughs> hopefully I don't lose this. Where was I Troy? What? I've got myself a shilling. Shilling. There you go, viewers. I didn't think it was. I thought it sounded better than a penny. But um, sixty-three shilling. There you go. We'll do a roundup later anyway. But that was pretty cool. Right up. Uh, viewers, Troy digs the weirdest shit, and I'm telling you. Anyway, yeah, oh, I've got this good signal. I said, oh, yeah, what does it sound like? What? Sounds like a silver coin, oh, yeah? Let's have a look. We'll dig it. <laughs> we dug it. This whopping great big, like, bolt from a bridge or something. He's freaked out, that <laughs> What the? Righto. Me and Troy sometimes pick up a few nice mushrooms when we're out and about. You know, take them home and cook them, but I don't think we'll be doing it with this one. What the hell's that, Troy? Look at that thing. 
that just looks deadly to look at, doesn't it? Looks kind of spicy. <laughs> Uh, viewers, just a bit of a roundup. Uh, me and Troy went for a bit of a hunt today. It was a little bit lean. We tried a new, a couple of new spots, and uh, the very last spot we've uh, discovered a fairly nice walking trail, and so that's going to be good. We're going to come back here. So I'll just give you a quick roundup. I won't bore you too much. Um, Troy's found that cool um, barrel tap. That's I think that's probably about your best relic to date, Troy. That's, it is. I like that one. Yeah, that's really nice. And he's found that cool old spoon. I'll just zoom out a bit for you. Um, he's found a couple of old English pennies, 1904 is it, or something like that, yeah, and sure. yeah. 1890 or something of that other one is there, uh, a little bit lean on the silvers today, a couple of sixpence, 42, and we're not sure. I think it was 19 or 18 or... Oh yeah, it could be 19, 18 or something like that, and... 10 20 a few too so yeah the coins were a bit lean today but anyway we still had fun um this is what i found i found this english penny 1907 and it's absolutely beautiful troy isn't it that thing it certainly is it the color that we haven't really seen and come out of the ground like that before yeah it's like brown or something but anyway that was a nice coin that one we found that just right towards the end of the day and not too far from him was that uh, 63 shilling uh, 1919 sixpence. I don't think I got one of them yet. And an old 1898, I think it is, English threepence. Um, I did a ride on a few little relics. Found that little commemorative badge, the Federal Parliament one. Um, that Gould League Young Workers um, little button. That was quite cool. And I think that might be a lure. Actually, it definitely is. I can see fish pattern on it now that I'm looking with the phone. Um, and it's called Funky Little Button. It's got Melbourne, um, America and London written on that. So we might look that up later. So that's pretty cool. Little buckle, brown buggers and a 20 cent piece. So all in all, not too bad. But yeah, we'll be back and hope you enjoyed it. Right up.